<clears throat> we're working our way through math page 1088. This is uh, pages 36. We're actually going to do two concepts, 36 through 40. They're very similar. Okay. <clears throat> we have two parentheses being multiplied together. And uh, similar here. Okay. Let's see the steps that would be involved here. <clears throat> what they recommend in the pace is that we start with the first one, <clears throat> excuse me, underneath it we'll write the 6x plus 3, okay? And uh, then we can take this first term on the bottom, multiply it times this one on the top, and that gives me 30 x squared. And notice I kind of put it over to the side, okay? Because I'm going to end up with um, three different kinds of terms. Now I'm going to take the 6x and multiply it times the 4, but being careful to notice that it's actually negative 4, all right? So we know that 6 times 4 is 24, but a positive times a negative gives me negative 24, and I keep the x, okay? So here it was x squared, because x times x is x squared. x just times 4, 24x. Now I'm going to take the positive 3, times the 5x, so we're going this way, and we get 15x, and that's going to be positive. They're both positive. Then 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. All right, now we can add straight down <clears throat> 30x squared. Negative 24 plus positive 15 means I subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. So minus 9x and then minus 12. And we're done. All right, <clears throat> let's take this one. We'll put the uh, negative x plus 9 on the top. Negative x plus 7 on the bottom. And again, let's multiply the negative x times both of these. A negative times a negative means it's positive. There's no number, so it's just plain old x squared. Negative x times 9. So we first go straight up and then go this way. So it's going to be negative because it's a negative times a positive. Negative 9x. Now I'm going to go this direction. 7 times negative x, negative 7x. 7 times 9 is 63. And I'll let you finish that one. All we got to be careful about, we bring this straight down, bring this straight down, is we have to add these. And they are both negative, so we keep the common sign. Okay? That shouldn't be too bad. Let's go up here. Now, look what's different. This is, I think, from page uh, 39 and 40. We have three terms on the top and a binomial on the bottom. So we're going to take the 4x and multiply it times all three of them. So 4x times negative x would be negative 4x to the, add the exponents, 2 plus the invisible 1, 3. 4x times negative x would be negative 4x squared. And then 4x times negative 1, negative 4x. All right, now we're going to do 1 times all of these. Well, hey, that's easy, okay? We'll just bring all of these terms straight down. And negative x, negative 1. Because positive 1 times the whole thing is just exactly that same thing. But notice I'm lining them up so that the like terms are underneath each other. Now we draw a line, <clears throat> and you add... Be careful to keep the common sign. Remember, if there's no number out front, we can assume that it's 1. Okay? So you're going to add negative 4x squared plus negative 1x squared, which would be negative 5. And then we just keep the x squared. All right, do the same thing here. And so you're going to end up with four terms in your final answer. One more, let's do this one together because uh, it's a little different. We have a squared term and an x. We're going to multiply times 8x. So 8x times 2x squared. 8 times 2 is 16x to the third. Okay. Take the 8x times the negative 3x. 
negative 24x squared. All right, now let's go back over here, multiply the 4 times the 2x squared, and we'll get 8x squared. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and then we keep the x. And again, I'll let you finish that one. Now we're going to add and subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger for the middle term, and we just keep the x squared. All right? And you'll have three terms in that answer. I think there's really just one more uh, major thing that we need to talk about, and that's on pages uh, 42 and 43. And then I'll give you a little heads up about the story problems, and then we're done with this pace.